their vocal cords start tightening up, their hearts pounding out of their chest. And I know from my personal experience, this is what happened to me. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Help Me Help Myself. I am your host, your coach, the founder of Project C, Sina Gyasi. And on today's episode, I will be talking about comfort. Now, the aim of any real good coach is to get our clients out of their comfort zone. And before I speak about that, I just want you to understand why it is that as human beings, we meet so much resistance when it comes to getting clients out of or people themselves re- getting out of a state of comfort, whether it's laying in bed and hitting the snooze button or maybe just getting too comfortable eating the same foods and not made, wanting to make that adaptation to, to bettering ourselves. Now, if you imagine you're someone thousands of years ago and we were living in we weren't living in caves but imagine you were living in a cave you had your food your shelter your water you had everything you needed to survive and all of a sudden your mind pops up with this idea you know what to challenge myself i'm going to go out and i'm going to run through the snow through the terrain and i'm going to try and kill a saber-toothed tiger now your mind is naturally going to resist that why because its primary aspect of is to survive correct so you're going to meet resistance. So this is essentially kind of what's happening to to, to a degree. Your, your body, as soon as you have these thoughts, will start getting a more of a shallow breath. You might go into a fight or flight response whenever you're starting to do things outside of your comfort zone. It's kind of like when people do public speaking for the first time and all of a sudden their knees start shaking, their vocal cords start tightening up, their hearts pounding out of their chest. And I know from my personal experience, this is what happened to me when I was doing Toastmasters for the first time. But I knew for myself personally, if I want to do seminars in the future to come, that I need to make the incremental steps to get me there. And that's the key really to getting outside your comfort zone, to finding a state of flow. Now, understand with flow, if you do anything too strenuous, then you're going to give yourself anxiety and not follow through. Or you might experience it once and then say, you know what, that's not for me and I'm going to push it aside. Or if it's not stimulating enough, it's going to create a boredom and you're going to feel like, you know what, I can do things that are better suited to my time and this is this is not really for me. So that's, you, you really need to understand that. Now there's other ways of getting outside of your comfort zone. Obviously, coaching is a really good example of one, but also your environment, which I also spoke about in the last episode. Your environment really shapes you as a person. If you've got people surrounding you that are really pushing you, helping you to really to excel in a particular area of your life, it could be in your personal physical body, maybe a trainer, it could be your work, it could be your studies, it could be an emotional sense, maybe it's, it's a partner or a good friend you can have very open, vulnerable conversations with, but it's helping you get out of those that, that comfort zone in a, in a sense. And the, key, the reason we want to really get outside of the comfort zone is we want to grow, we want to naturally grow as people, we want to always be better than yesterday, as it says in Jordan Peterson's book, that's a great book by the way, if you ever get a chance to read it, The 12 Rules of Life. And as human beings, if we don't really push past this state of comfort, we will reach a level of resentment for, against ourselves, especially when we look back in life and say, you know what, I wish I really took advantage of certain situations. And life is too short. We only do live one life and you have to live it on your own terms. So be mindful of this. And I, I urge you to step outside your comfort zone. If stepping outside your comfort zone is something you do struggle with, by all means, get in touch with me or get in touch with another coach, someone who can really help you, propel you to living a more fruitful, uh, fulfilled life, okay? And that's it for today, guys. And I just wanna say, I hope you've had a really nice weekend. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You'll be seeing me very soon. Bye for now, guys. See you, bye.